Hello everybody, in today's video I wanted to focus on giving you guys some basic tips and tricks on attachments that you should be avoiding when you're creating your best class setup. One of the cool things about Modern Warfare is there's like 50 to 60 attachments for a majority of the weapons. The downside with that is there's a lot of attachments that could be good for your weapon and there's other attachments that you probably want to avoid. And obviously based off the thumbnail and title, we're going to be focusing on those 10 plus attachments that you should probably be avoiding when you're creating your best class setup. And just as a quick reminder, if you do enjoy the video, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you're brand new to the channel or just haven't yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing with notifications on if you do enjoy the content and are looking to find your way back to the channel. So the first attachment category we're gonna be taking a look at is the optic category. And there's about five or so attachments that you pretty much want to avoid if you're using rifles, SMGs, shotguns, LMGs, pretty much anything except for the marksman rifles and the sniper rifles. So the five optics I'd recommend avoiding are the thermal hybrid, the sniper scope, the solo zero NVG enhanced, as well as the Merc thermal optic and the variable zoom scope. And to make it a little bit easier to remember, each of these individual optics actually have additional red text on them that have underlined in yellow. So pretty much if it has that red text, you should not be using it on anything other than a marksman rifle or a sniper rifle. And the main reason you want to avoid these specific attachments for the majority of the other weapons in the game is because they will slow down your aim down sight time significantly. And in some cases, as much as 80 milliseconds, which is pretty significant when some weapons in this game kill in under 200 milliseconds. And probably one of the only exceptions to this is if you're going to use the M4 with those SOCOM rounds that's supposed to be treated more like a sniper rifle, then it'd make more sense to use these types of options. Optics, but I've seen these optics used on all kinds of rifles and SMGs and even on some of the shotguns Which is just completely absurd when you're thinking about how you're going to use a particular weapon It's just not the smartest move and the next attachment category We're going to take a look at is the under barrel and on the under barrel you can find the 40 millimeter concussive high explosive incendiary the flash grenade the smoke screen as well as the recon and the 12 gauge deputy and luckily when it comes to these attachments i think most people are already avoiding these because they understand that they're not all that great the only way you can resupply them is with an ammo box or using that specific field upgrade so the downside is if you happen to use this particular attachment and you're between ammo boxes or you're just not using that particular field upgrade once you've used the ammo that it comes with you're basically going to have an attachment on your weapon that is doing nothing for you and and that is kind of a dumb idea when it comes to attachments because you basically want every attachment on your weapon to help you in literally almost every gunfight. So that's why the desired traits when it comes to attachments are typically improved recoil stabilization, recoil control, range and general mobility through aim down sight speed as well as sprint out time. And then basically you're applying those specific traits that are gonna help that individual weapon the most. Obviously, if you have a low recoil weapon, you're probably going to avoid attachments that help you with recoil and spend most of the time focusing on range and mobility. The next attachment category we're going to talk about is the muzzle. And this actually brings us to probably one of the worst attachments in the entire game. And that is going to be the flash guard. And as you can see, the pro is that muzzle flash concealment while that con is the lower bullet velocity. And it'd be different if one of the other pros was the tracers like we're seeing with some of the other weapons that will actually remove the tracers so people don't see where your bullets are flying from but you're not getting that all you're basically getting is a decreased bullet velocity and this is a con without a real pro so I would definitely avoid this particular attachment even if it's the only attachment you can equip because your weapon is low level I would avoid this one because it's gonna make it significantly harder for you to hit targets at range because when you get that decreased bullet velocity it gets a lot harder to attract moving targets especially the further they are away. So as we continue on, we're still gonna focus on the muzzle category when it comes to attachments. We're gonna focus specifically on two of the worst suppressors in the game. And those are gonna be the tactical suppressor and the lightweight suppressor. And pretty much you can see they offer some sound suppression and come at the cost of aim down sight speed as well as aim walking steadiness, which really isn't all that important. And then on the other one, you can see it has reduced damage range. So even though the sound suppression is actually pretty good, it's gonna keep you off the compass and the mini map. I think the real issue here is that there's actually a better suppressor you can actually use the Colossus suppressor that's available for the Odin, for example, or you could just go ahead and run with the monolithic suppressor, which basically acts like that tactical suppressor, but it also gives you a little bit of extra range. So up to this point, we've already talked about some general weapon attachments kind of across the board for all the different various weapons. Now we're gonna talk about some specific scenarios 
that I think a lot of people run into and they just don't realize that they're making these individual mistakes. And generally what I end up seeing is people just were wasting their attachments on attachments that they do not need. So generally you see this in extremes on both ends of the spectrum. Weapons that have low recoil and then weapons that have high recoil. So in the case with weapons that don't have a ton of recoil, maybe putting on one attachment to kind of help with recoil stabilization or recoil control isn't all that bad but you're gonna see people stack attachments towards recoil on weapons that don't already have a ton of recoil. And that's just gonna hurt their overall mobility. So in cases with a weapon that you know doesn't have a ton of recoil, what you should be focusing on is everything geared towards range and mobility so you can maximize the strengths of those weapons. And the opposite could be said for weapons with a ton of recoil that are high damage, they typically have low mobility. So you kind of got to balance that out to take care of the mobility while also focusing on the recoil. Whereas a lot of times people go to one extreme where they're only focusing on the recoil and then they're going to have a very slow weapon. Or they go to the opposite and then they focus everything on mobility and then they can't hit their shot. So it's very important when you're taking somebody else's class setup or possibly using a blueprint that you're not making one of these mistakes because not everything is set in stone to be perfect one way or the other. Sometimes attachments are very personal and individual and based off their individual skill. So those are the mistakes that I think people generally run into. I think I've covered a good amount in this video. I did want to kind of keep it short. So hopefully you did enjoy what you heard today. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button. If you're brand new to the channel or just haven't yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing with notifications on to be able to find your way back for more Call of Duty content. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.